Tommy, you're probably going to answer this question an awful lot today. Launch of the Beginners Pro 12, another season. How's everything going? Very well. Uh, it's great to be here for the launch. Uh, I think everybody's very excited about the season getting started. Pre-season has gone very well. It's been pretty tough, uh, as always. It's been, uh, it doesn't get any easier the older you get, obviously. But um, the matches start very soon, and, and we've got Dragons first up. and really looking forward to it. And the big news today, obviously, that the Pro 12 final long way away but it's going to be hosted here in Dublin in Aviva Stadium. Yeah, I think that's very exciting news as well. You know, it's been played in Belfast and over in Scotland so far. Both finals have been really great matches to watch and I think that in the Aviva Stadium we know we'll get a, a full house here and hopefully we'll be a part of it. In terms of uh, Ulster, and you spoke about the pre-season there, we've seen it on Ulster Rugby TV, it's been pretty gruelling at times. Yeah, it has. It's been a tough pre-season, really have put us through our paces, but I think we've enjoyed it. Um, you know, the Irish, there was quite a few guys away in an Irish camp that, uh, over in South Africa, I think they enjoyed that too, coming back into it. A lot of young fellas had to step up to the mark, so, so far we've uh, done, put in a lot of hard work and looking forward to the game starting. In terms of the season ahead, no Rugby World Cup this year, so kind of a different start to the season. How's that going to pan out? I think it'll be good. It means that the players are t with each other a lot more. We've got a good bond in the squad. People are come back. The Irish lads have come back. There's a uh, good camaraderie with us. I think we're kind of just putting things in place. So it's going to be a long season. We know that you know with the match here in the Aviva, the final, it's a long way away. But it comes around very quickly, and I think the stuff that we do now will pay dividends uh, come the end of the year. Les, cast your mind ahead. The final is here at the end of the season. It's a long way off yet, but you have a lot of experience of coaching here. What would it be like to, to bring Ulster here? Uh, fantastic. If, if I can get the team here, it would be brilliant. Um, I think it's a great move by uh, the management to get the final here. Um, if we can pack this place out and there's two Irish teams going for it, it would be fantastic. And hopefully we're one of them. But, you know, the, the Guinness Pro 12 is really competitive now. Uh, we don't take anything for granted. Every game is so important. You know, we found out uh, that out last year. If we just had one more win, we put ourselves right into a home semi. So we've just got to make sure we play, take each week as it comes along and, and, and position ourselves so we can possibly play here at the end of the season. Just looking back over the summer, a lot of Ulster guys involved in the Ireland team that stood up so strongly in South Africa, particularly in the back line. You must have been sitting at home watching it and, and, and being very proud of those guys and the effort they put in. Absolutely. Um, you know, we're very proud of what, what happened there in terms of the Ulster representation in the Irish team. Uh, I think it's the highest it's been for a number of years and uh, you know, we're very proud of that. But full you know, kudos to the players. They've really worked hard throughout the season since I've been there and um, you know, they've got their just rewards. Uh, the other factor is they've come back into our pre-season and, and really you know, added value to our, our, our program at the moment. And um, you know, we've got to wait a little while for a few of them, um, but they're working hard and, and you know, I've got to take my head off to the rest of the squad too. They've been fantastic in their preparation as well. What, how does it change the dynamic having more and more guys with international experience? Well, you've just got to make sure that you're managing your resources as best you can. You know, there's, there's a lot of fronts you have to fight on. You know, that's one of the fronts. If you've got Europe um, and you've got the Guinness Pro 12, uh, which is really your bread and butter, and, and that's where you really find out um, uh, how you're going to go for the whole year, really, and, and whether players are going to make that leap to international level. Um, so, you know, across, across the board, I think every game's important. Um, I think every player is important. Um, when you have more players representing your country, I think it's, it's what I strive to do. Um, and that hopefully puts a challenge on me and the rest of the coaches there and, and all of our academy to develop players to be able to come up through the ranks to uh, fill the spots when they're taken. How much are you looking forward to getting into the meet of the season? Absolutely. You know, we've had two friendlies to date. We've had the chance to um, expose a lot of young players uh, over the last two weeks. We've got a good chance this weekend with a, a great match coming up against Canada A, which will expose a lot of our academy and, and A team to that. And then we play the Saints on Friday night after that game. So it's another big test for us, but uh, you know it'll give us a few clues about where we're going. But um, yeah, just looking forward to the Dragons match at Kingspan the week after.